So, how do you determine the formula and molar mass of silver cyanide? So, how to determine formula and molar mass of silver cyanide? That is honestly a great question. How do you determine that? So, first we need to figure out what silver cyanide is made of, okay? And unfortunately, I'm going to say this claim right now, this is something you do have to memorize, because you won't be able to find cyanide on the periodic table, but you can definitely find silver on the periodic table, okay? So silver is just Ag, all right? Now silver is a strange one, but um, in terms of the whole transition metals but for this I would actually say because the transition metal you can't just really guess how many electrons it likes to give away so we can actually do the same thing we did for copper earlier but it's one element down so what I'm referring to is the electron configuration okay so it's krypton right now let's actually draw out the um, orbital notation because it's now 4d because it's now one row lower and it will now be 5s because yep into 3 5s okay because you can see here it's on the fifth row okay and it's going to be 5s2 or so we think in the beginning and 4d Oops, sorry. 4D9, it seems. Because exactly, it's one more away from where cadmium should be. Now, if you remember what we discussed actually in the previous question, this is a fairly easy change for it to make. So it actually moved this over here. And now we can see a clear cut of how many electrons silver likes to give away. Because silver would actually be written as krypton 4d 10 5 s 1 because the fact that um it's already so close to its uh fourth uh, d shell so instead of just having that 5s2 it's just like give me an electron and bam it's now a lot more stable so its preferred um electron to give away would be this whoops would be this 5s1 right here only one electron so silver typically as an ion would be a g plus okay just one now cyanide like i mentioned something you have to memorize okay is actually carbon and nitrogen you may be able to figure that out based on the um name but I don't know. It's something that I start to get really familiar with. Um, so with that being said, though, carbon and nitrogen. Carbon likes four electrons. Nitrogen is five. So we assume the nitrogen works as a, a negative because carbon is usually the positive one. So minus five plus four. And then we know the total charge for this is going to be CN minus. So silver cyanide really is AGCN. That's it. This is silver cyanide. Now the question asks for the molecular masses, molar mass silver cyanide as well. So for this, we actually have our work cut out for us because only one element, one uh, one of each element. So one AG, one carbon, and one nitrogen. So one silver times 107.87 carbon times 12.011 nitrogen times 14.007 um, just gonna equal each other I'd like to just show all our steps so that we're not missing anything even though it may seem repetitive you will definitely thank me later because you will realize that sometimes when you're missing a part of a problem, it's better when you have everything laid out so that way you can find it quicker. 107, 
12.07 plus 12.011 plus 14.007. Oops, what did I do? There we go. 133.888. So silver cyanide has a molar mass of 133.888 grams per mole. Okay, now, as I said with the cyanide part, it's something that unfortunately you do have to memorize. Now, because I haven't dealt with cyanide in a long time, there's a possibility that I may have solved this wrong, but hopefully I confidently solved this wrong, and that way I can at least adjust um, if this is actually not the right one. So let's see how we did. So, definitely breaking it down more. Um, determine what type of bond is present. Um, prefixes are not used in silver cyanide, so they say it's, it's an ionic bond. That is something that we should have mentioned. Not sure how it may have helped you, but silver is a transition metal. So that is going to be a metal and non-metal because it's carbon nitrogen. I'm curious about that um, because I'm curious to see how they know what cyanide is. I think they just pulled it from a table. So, they're just giving the basis for everything you have to do in terms of like how to uh, cross multiply and simplify. This is just an example though. This is not actually what we're doing for this question. So, there we go. It is an ionic compound. Okay, so they got that part right. The ions are silver and cyanide. So, with that being say, I mean, with that being said, they kind of just stated. Um, I'm glad I was able to at least show how silver likes to lose one electron, and carbon nitrogen overall has a net net charge of minus one. Um, but yeah, exactly. So they do have AgCN. And they do the molar mass for each one. Um, so they have just adding these three. And 107.87 is what I had for the periodic table. So exactly. There's a slight difference because they have 107.868. The point being is that they did get the right one, AGCM. Yep. And they have a number close to mine. Yep. So with that, this is correct. So that was a doozy of a question for number 13. So one question.